So it's interesting, if you spend any time like I do Googling interesting cruise topics like how can you get kicked off of a cruise ship, you will find lists of ways that you can get kicked off of cruise ships. Whenever I read these lists, I always wonder, have people actually been kicked off the cruise ship for these infractions? And the one that gets me the most is getting kicked off the cruise ship for missing the muster drill. Anytime I mention the muster drill in any of our videos, inevitably there's a comment that says, you know, you can get kicked off the cruise ship for missing the muster drill. Now look, I've been skeptical. Uh, I've only been cruising for a couple years, but I've never seen anybody get disembarked for missing the muster drill. Now, maybe I just missed it, but I thought I would hit the internet and find out if that is true. And uh, you might be interested in what I found. We'll talk about it right after this. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with Lalita Loco. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're brand new here and you enjoy cruising content, consider subscribing with the notification bell on. We put up content every day to keep you thinking about cruising, to fight off those cruise blues, and we would love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. It doesn't cost anything and it helps us know who's following us. So, can you get kicked off a cruise ship for missing the muster drill? If you're new to cruising and you don't know what the muster drill is, it's the mandatory safety briefing. Think about it if you're on an airplane before you can take off, they kind of tell you how to use the oxygen mask, they tell you that your seat is a flotation device, they tell you what to do in the event of an emergency. It is exactly the same way on a cruise ship. It is a time that happens once during the cruise on embarkation day where they gather everybody together. Most cruise ships do a roll call to make sure that every passenger is accounted for and they do things like tell you how to wear a life jacket, where to go to access lifeboats, what to do in case of an emergency. In most cases, this is a 15 to 30 minute activity and it is required. It's significant to note that they shut down all the eateries, all the bars, they shut down everything on the cruise ship to make sure that this muster drill happens because it's just that important. You gotta know where to go in case there's an emergency, but there are some folks out there that thumb their nose a little bit. Uh, sometimes new cruisers, they're excited to hit the bar, they may not think about the muster drill, they may not know how important the muster drill is, and then there's some experienced cruisers who've been to 10 muster drills, been to 20 muster drills, who think, why should I even have to go to a muster drill? The question is, can you get disembarked, can you get kicked off the cruise ship for missing muster drill? Well, I've scoured the internet and I haven't found anything in recent history, I haven't found a story that said someone has gotten disembarked from the muster drill. Now, depends how you define recent history. If you look back for stories for five years, I'm not finding a story that says you can get kicked off the cruise ship for missing the muster. But if you go all the way back to 2012, I found two stories that were pretty close together for people getting kicked off the cruise ship for missing the muster drill. So 2012 is a significant year in cruising history. Uh, January of that year started off with a horrible accident on the Costa Concordia, which capsized and it cost the lives of 32 cruisers. And what could be expected after crisis such as this is cruise lines began to step up and really be strict about their safety policies, which they should. But these two events of people getting kicked off the cruise ship for missing the muster happened just months after this Costa Concordia accident. So this first story is in February of 2012 and it involves the Holland America ship, the Westerdam. The story there is there was a young man who either missed the muster drill or was disruptive during the muster drill and he was asked to disembark the ship. Significant to note is the captain of that cruise did announce that you could be disembarked for missing the muster drill. Holland America did confirm that someone was removed from the cruise ship related to the muster drill, but the details are not there. I will leave a link to the article on Cruise Critic about this story. This next incident happened on a sister line of Holland America, Seaborn, and it involves an elderly couple on the Seaborn Sojourn. The story there is that, again, the captain mentioned that if you did not attend the muster drill, you would be disembarked from the cruise ship. And apparently there was an exhaustive effort to get this couple to come from their cabin to the muster drill. They refused to answer their door. They refused to answer their phone. 
and eventually they missed the muster drill and they were required to disembark the cruise ship. This was the beginning of a 12 day cruise on the 645 passenger luxury liner and this couple was disembarked. Now this happened around May of 2012 and again it happened just shortly after the incident on the Costa Concorda and with this being a sister line to Holland America it seems at least at that time maybe the Holland family was making a concerted effort to make sure that people attended the muster drill. So can you get kicked off the cruise ship for missing the muster drill? I think it is written into most cruise contracts. I don't see a lot of evidence recently of where that's true. I, I wouldn't test the fates that way. Uh, what about you? Leave a comment below. Do you have any interesting muster drill stories? We've had some great muster drills. We've had some challenging ones. Uh, almost everyone, you've had to wait for somebody to show up late. Uh, leave your muster drill story in the comments below. Uh, if you found this story interesting, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to us on social media. Uh, again, this is Tony with La Lida Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.